What are you talking about? I wouldn't miss this for anything. I think I'm gonna like it here. I'll take it. Everything you need's in here. Don't you just love a happy ending? Follow my lead. What, what more, more could anyone ask? ask? Hey everybody, it's Charlie. We got a whole bunch of Titans, Young Justice, and this DC Universe stuff to break down. They released a whole bunch of information along with all this footage, so you get an idea for the other stuff besides the TV shows and the movies that's going to be launching with it. So if you're finding me for the first time, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There's a new round of the Flash Ring giveaway. I'll be sure to name a new winner at the end of this. Biggest thing first, they confirmed that the service is launching in beta in August with all the stuff they included in this. See how they put Michelle Pfeiffer at the beginning of this as Catwoman? I love how they did that because she's going to be debuting as the Janet Van Dyne Wasp in Ant-Man and the Wasp all over the world in less than a week. So it's like, oh, hey, yeah, by the way, we have all this Batman movie stuff that's going to be launching with the service. And it just happens to be led by this person that you're going to be watching in about a week. Pretty much all the DC animated movies and most of the TV shows they're going to be launching with this. So if it wasn't clear, all that stuff should be available in the beta. But the launch dates for Titans Season 1, Young Justice Season 3, Swamp Thing, Doom Patrol are all a little bit different than what I expected before. What I thought was originally going to happen is, is when they would launch the service, they would just launch day one with the beginning of Titans and they would just drop episodes until they finished airing all 13. Then they would drop Young Justice at the end of the year. But now what the news releases are saying is the Titans will drop later this year in the fall, which makes it sound more like September. So it sounds like the beta will be open in August for a couple weeks. Then they'll drop Titans. Then that will air for the rest of the year. They also said that Young Justice Season 3 is not premiering till next year. So that could be January, that could be February. I don't think they're going to sit on it too long because the showrunner Greg Weissman said that the show was originally going to launch at the end of this year. So it sounds like they're just trying to figure out the technology, but the actual TV shows like Young Justice and Titans, they're ready to go. They're probably just sitting on them. So I'm guessing the reason why they're doing a Young Justice panel at Comic-Con, but they're not going to be doing a Titans panel as far as we know, is more of a technology thing for the actual platform platform itself and the app that they're trying to launch than the actual shows themselves being done because it sounds like for the most part this stuff is already done now they released extra synopsis for the details of what's actually going to be happening on each of the tv shows so i'll read that in a second but the big thing here is they released like a full-blown look at Bretton thwaites in his dick grace and robin costume so you could think of this as like a jacked up version of his New 52 or Rebirth costume. Now right now in the comics, obviously Dick Grayson is Nightwing. During the series, he's going to transition to being Nightwing. But during Rebirth, they retcon the original Robin costume just a little bit. Like every time they redesign it just a little bit. So this looks just like the hardcore version of that. So you have to imagine that this is right before he stops being Robin and right before he becomes Nightwing. So that's why he looks so much more jacked up and older than what a normal Robin would look like. You remember that Jason Todd is going to be on the series. We talked about him. This is like a behind the scenes look. This isn't actually what his costume is going to look like. This is just him walking around the set. He looks like he's going to be about 15 or 16 during season one. So I'm guessing he's still a year or two away from becoming Red Hood or at least from dying and then them bringing him back as Red Hood. The new preview that they have for Young Justice Season 3 is just more of the lineup. We've seen these characters before. You have Blue Beetle, you have Bart in his new Wally looking costume. I know there are a lot of questions about Wally. Obviously, they're going to bring him out of the Speed Force at some point. But remember, there's 26 episodes in Season 3. They said that they're going to try and run for multiple more seasons. So you have to imagine that like 50, 70 plus episodes will probably see a big arc where they try to bring Wally back. 
Standing next to him is Tracy 13. She's a magic base character. Standing next to her is Arrowette. I know it kind of looks like Red Arrow, but I believe this is Arrowette. Then obviously you have Static in a brand new costume. You have the Cassie Sandsmark Wonder Girl. We're actually going to have Donna Troy on the live action Titans. This is what the actress looks like. This is a fan mock-up of what her costume might look like too. But then obviously you have Tim Drake in his new costume, and then you have the Stephanie Brown spoiler. Good news is we have another like full-blown Young Justice Season 3 trailer that's going to drop at Comic-Con. I'm assuming that they're going to post it online like they're posting this stuff online. So whatever they end up dropping, I will totally do a video for it. No worries, I'll do a breakdown of their panel. The way they talk about the comics they're going to be unleashing on this Marvel Unlimited style is that it'll be a curated selection. Most of the pictures that they showed were just like the really, really big titles. So it sounds like we're just getting the really good stuff, then they'll add to that over time. But they'll have a longer confirmed list when we get closer to launch. And all that stuff will launch with the beta. What's happening later this year is they're going to be shooting the Doom Patrol TV show. I've already talked a little bit about that. It'll be a spin-off of Titans. They're trying to get Kelsey Grammer to actually be the chief. So we might actually have a shot at a Kelsey Grammer Doom Patrol series. That just sounds surreal, just to think about it. Kelsey Grammer doing a DC television show? That's crazy. If Young Justice is premiering at the beginning of next year, it sounds like Doom Patrol will launch right after that in the spring, then Swamp Thing probably next summer, then Titans Season 2 right after that. You get the idea, like one series premieres after the other one has finished its run. But here's the new synopsis that they released for Titans and Young Justice Season 3. It says Titans will follow young heroes like Robin and Rachel Roth, aka Raven, a young girl possessed by a strange darkness, as they take on a conspiracy to bring hell to Earth, which is basically the terror of Trigon, the Church of Blood, Brother Blood, trying to bring Trigon to our universe so they can consume it, the same way you would see like Dormammu during the Doctor Strange movie. If you're not a big comic book reader, Trigon is kind of like a Dormammu type figure, the ruler of different dimensions. The way he's allowed to enter people's dimensions is, is by fathering a child with someone from that dimension. The child serves as a mystical conduit that opens the barrier between dimensions for him. He enters that universe, slowly consumes it, takes it over, and then does it in another universe. So he just moves his way through dimensions, through the multiverse, doing that, having one child at a time. So you can see why they're sort of roping it off from the Arrowverse right now, because they're not ready to get into Trigon and Raven in the Arrowverse. I'll talk about that in a second too, because people are like, are they going to put all the Arrowverse shows on this app? But the new synopsis for Young Justice Season 3 says that they're targeted by metahuman trafficking and an intergalactic arms race to gain control of new superpowered youth. So it sounds like new metas are manifesting all over the planet and the light is trying to take advantage of them by collecting them all in the Titans or the Outsiders as you want to think about them because it's called Young Justice Outsiders are trying to prevent that from happening. They actually do have a synopsis for that animated Harley Quinn TV show. It says that she and a bunch of her cast-off friends are trying to earn a seat on the Legion of Doom. So the whole series is Harley Quinn trying to prove that she's badass enough to become a member of the Legion of Doom. They confirm that Cyborg is going to be a part of the Doom Patrol TV series. Like I said, you know, Kelsey Grammer might be a part of that. So Kelsey Grammer in the Cyborg character, obviously it's a spinoff from Titans. So eventually Cyborg would probably join Titans in a future season. What I think is going to happen with the Arrowverse TV shows is, is that because they are locked into streaming deals with Netflix and a couple of other portals right now, they'll wait a little while for that to expire, then they'll put that on the app too eventually. I think the idea is, is that eventually all DC content, movies and television, will go to this app. Congratulations to the latest giveaway winner, David Noonan. Please private message me so I can get your contact details. I'll name a new winner when I post new DC. There's some new Avengers 4 that I'll post later today, so that should be up in a couple hours. While you wait for everything, click here for my non-spoilery Ant-Man and the Wasp review, and click here for brand new Flash Season 5. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. See you guys tonight.